And we are back on the build phase. I'm Mr. Ben, and today we are going to talk about a versus mystery. Okay, so a week ago, I got a text message from FedEx that said, yo, dude, a package is on the way to you. And I thought, that's weird. I haven't ordered anything. And generally when I order stuff, I don't use FedEx. So uh, my, my FedEx text history has text messages from basically one source for the most part. So I went to the website and I looked this up and it didn't give me any information about it other than that the package was being shipped from Carlsbad, California. Now, most of my other packages that I've received via FedEx have also come from Carlsbad, California. And that's because that is where Upper Deck is located. Their, their main offices, I believe. I, I know they have a shipping hub on the East Coast too, but when I've had QA issues, when multiple times I've received things from Upper Deck, it's almost always been from Carlsbad. So I thought, huh, interesting. I wonder if Upper Deck sent me something. No, well, that's silly. So I go about my day, uh, and this package is scheduled to arrive at my house on Friday. This is last Friday. And sure enough, it does. Uh, I get the picture uh, from FedEx saying it was delivered. I'm at work, and I go into my patron chat, the coolest clubhouse in Versus. If you like what we're doing here, patreon.com slash the build phase. And I go to mention to my lovely patrons who help keep the lights on around here. Hey, guys, I think I might have gotten a package from Upper Deck. And as I go to type this, one of my patrons says, hey, guys, I got a package from Upper Deck today. This is weird. I didn't order it. No explanation or anything. So, well, what was in it? What was it? Well, it was four of the new extended art Infinity Gems. So with great excitement, I rush home. That's actually not true. I worked the rest of my workday. But when I got to the end of my workday, I rushed home with great excitement and cracked this package open. And bef before I even opened it, actually, it says on the, the bubble mailer, uh, Mark Shaughnessy. So I'm like, okay, this is definitely from Upper Deck. I open it up, and sure enough, we have the Mind Gem, the Power Gem, the Reality Gem, and the Soul Gem. Beautiful extended art versions of these cards that were handed out as promos at Gen Con, all stuffed into a penny sleeve inside a top loader, and questions, a package full of questions. Why do I have these? Why were these sent to me? So I, I sent Mark a message last Friday, uh, it might even have been after the end of the work day on Friday. It might even have been Saturday. So I figured, oh, I won't hear anything back until Monday at the earliest. I have not heard anything. But today I got a message from another person. I, I'm specifically not mentioning other people's identities. If they want to out themselves, they can. Uh, but I have now heard from at least one more person. So that's three people I'm aware of that have received these mystery packages from Mark without explanation. I, I, I mean, cool. I, I'm for this, you know, those of us who can't make it to Gen Con for whatever reason, uh, I think it's amazing that Upper Deck has, and in fact, pause the Upper Deck mystery, I want to just take a minute to talk about Buckeye League. So I have for years now talked about how Buckeye League is a great thing for this community. Those guys are doing an awesome job over there. I have at every opportunity promoted, shout out sent people their way. I think the online, what the only reason I ever did build phase league was because nobody else was doing it. And I wanted to play more versus now that there is this robust apparatus of versus events going on basically constantly over at Buckeye league. I, I sort of feel like on some level build phase league has served its purpose. I'd still like to bring it back. Uh, I still have some format ideas. We never tried out, but it, that's a whole, that, that is a uh, uh, off topic uh, offshoot within my off topic offshoot. So let me reel it back in to just say the fact that Upper Deck is supporting Buckeye League with league stuff. So you can play in the webcam league and you can still have the opportunity to earn the promos and the mats and all the cool stuff that people who are able to afford and have, whether, whether it's financial afford or time afford whatever there's a lot of reasons why people can't go to conventions so upper deck making this stuff available through a community run event for the community is pretty incredible we've had a little bit of a rough year with our community relationship with upper deck there's been some some issues but this is really good this deserves to be shouted from the mountaintops. I want Upper Deck to hear positive feedback about how incredible it is that they're supporting the community events in this way. This is the kind of thing that I have been wanting for years. And believe me, 
we asked. We, we every time we ran a build phase league, we would shoot Mark or Danny or Ben messages and ask for help with prize support. And they did come through over the years. You know, Danny and Ben signed literally hundreds of cards for me, uh, nearly all of which I have turned around and given away to the community. Um, but upper deck man having these manufactured promos that you can get, that was something I could never provide in build phase. Everything we did in build phase, I would go to the store, I would buy the cards, I would mail the cards to Danny and Ben, they would mail them back to me, and then I would mail them to the winners. That's how I did it. What Buckeye has going on is way cooler. It is way cooler to get exclusive promos uh, than to have somebody just get a card you could you could have got at the store and probably got Danny or Ben to sign it for you uh, yourself if you wanted to. They've always been very approachable, cool guys. Not that I'm don't send them a bunch of stuff. I'm not not advocating for that. OK, I'm off topic again. So shout out to Buckeye League. That's awesome. So let's reel this all the way back to Mark sending out promos to just random community members. Now, presumably these aren't random community members. Presumably he picked people whose addresses he had who I but I genuinely don't know what is going on with this. So I think that's amazing. I, yeah, I, I understand. I understand if somebody is sitting at their house and they weren't able to go to Gen Con and they don't have these promos hearing that I have randomly opened a package that contains those promos might feel a little bit of sour grapes, might, might feel a little bit upset. I do want to like, keep that in mind, sending a package with some cards to various community members while I think it's really cool, it is not a replacement for making this stuff available for the people who want to put the work in to get it. But Upper Deck also did that. So if you want these promos, go play Buckeye League. So the solution is is there for you as well. Um, so I don't know what's going on with this. I really I'm taken aback. I'm surprised by it. Uh, in true Upper Deck fashion, there's been no communication uh, for for all the things Upper Deck does well, the communication piece has always been a place where we tend to stub our toe uh, with regard to this game. I will say this Mind Gem is one of the most beautiful versus cards, one of the versus cards, like as far as art that I am most happy with in the entire life of the game. Uh, these cards are incredible. So that's very cool. But why do I have them? I don't know. Uh, in sort of related news, related being also positive, we did hear that there's going to be some more spoilers on the way. So there there are more cards coming, and that's exciting given all the uncertainty that has been swirling around. Having that confirmed for us by an Upper Deck employee, hey, there is this coming. There are going to be more cards about it. I think that's really positive. So I'm feeling pretty good about where Versus is at right now. I will concede that... Opening a mystery package full of goodies certainly helps me feel really good <laughs> about the game of Versus. So maybe my uh, uh, unbiased stance has been swayed a little bit by the beauty of this mind gem staring at me from my desk. Uh, but that was fun. That was a cool thing. It, it reminds me back like four years ago when I think Mark was still the one who was kind of in charge and he was sending out stuff to have... Me versus C Stacks was one where we fought each other with the Fantastic Battles box. I think maybe before it came out, we did that. I, I can't remember the specifics, but there was a time where Upper Deck was more hands on with the community. There was a little more involvement. I know the new the new Upper Deck community guy said that he, uh, somebody suggested that he should have versus games on the Upper Deck stream. Yes, I would love to see some live versus action on the stream. And really what I would like to see is an opportunity where they have a community member brought onto the stream and they can play a game over webcam. For one, let's just normalize webcam play. Yes, it's more fun to play in person. I get it. There's a million reasons why playing in person is better. But for a lot of us, webcam is where it's at. This is how we engage with and play the game. So having that kind of experience and showing it on the Upper Deck stream saying like, hey, here's the way a lot of the community does this. Look at how easy it is. I think that would be really helpful. Uh, it's It always just kind of feels good when the manufacturer of the game sort of shines the beloved. In, in my head, I'm thinking of the Eye of Sauron, but that's not the <laughs> image I'm trying to evoke. I'm trying to evoke like a benevolent light <laughs> being shown on our game. Uh, and if there was... You know, random community member, hey, or maybe not random, maybe pick people that you know aren't going to be maniacs or make the game look bad, obviously. But, you know, there's a game where, say, Mark 
plays with some cards against like Roland or whoever. The specific people don't so much matter as I like the idea of upper deck promoting and supporting and being a little more involved with, I guess is the word I'm looking for, just upper deck being more involved with the community. Uh, the lack of communication this year has felt really bad. Uh, I get that there's been a bunch of job turnover. It, there's There's been a lot going on. I'm not trying to be negative about it. I just want to focus on the positive things that could happen from here. And I think it's a really good sign to see Upper Deck talk, uh, the community representative for versus talking in the Discord saying, hey, previews are on the way. Uh, I like the Upper Deck support of the Buckeye League, like more than like. That's one of the coolest things they've done in the entire time that this game has ever existed. Official support for a community tournament. Now, I get that Midwinter technically is a community tournament, and they've officially supported that for a long time, but that's a little different. That's like an in-person thing. Official support for a webcam tournament, like in this kind of way where you can win like official upper deck prizes. This is awesome. Uh, and I don't want that any of the negatives that we've had or any of the questions or uncertainty to drag down how incredibly cool that is. So I feel really positive about versus. I'm excited to see some new cards as positive as I am here. Our game's still in a bit of a rough shape, so we're not there yet, Upper Deck. We got to stop this bleeding. We got to recover, it's particularly the communication piece. We got to recover. But these are really good signs, and we would be foolish to ignore the positives just because we've had kind of a string of not great luck this year. Go sign up for Buckeye League for sure. Uh, get your promos. They're gorgeous. Mark, why do I have these, man? Answer the mystery for us. Okay, this has been the build phase. I'm Mr. Ben, and you should go win some games in Buckeye League.